Tonight, the GBI is investigating three separate shootings involving three metro area law enforcement agencies in just the last 24 hours. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. The shooting stretched across North Georgia, but we begin here in Atlanta where a car chase involving a Georgia state trooper ended in a shootout and two separate crashes. Uh, the shooting shut down Boulevard Southeast for several hours today. Fox News Joy Dukes joins us now live tonight with more on the GBI investigation. Joy. Yeah, Courtney Russ, good evening to you both. GBI officials have been here on scene since earlier this afternoon collecting evidence and talking to witnesses surrounding this chase that led to the driver of this burgundy Honda being shot while his baby girl was sitting in the back seat. Cell phone video captured the moments immediately after a chase involving Georgia State Patrol troopers and a driver led to gunshots Wednesday afternoon. And I heard pop, pop, pop. And then everyone just rushed to the window. We saw this car, the car on the side uh, crash into a pole. Seconds later, a second car sideswipes another driver. Video shows the man behind the wheel of the tan vehicle attempt to leave the scene before a trooper confronts him. Looked like they took somebody out and placed them on the ground and had them handcuffed for maybe about five minutes later. The driver of that second sideswiped car says that's when she heard gunshots. GBI officials confirm an exchange of gunfire between the suspect and troopers. The police had guns drawn. I do believe that the um, the male on the hill had a gun. Fire officials nearby rendered aid to the man before an ambulance arrived on scene. They told Fox 5 there was a baby in the back seat of his car. The child was not injured. I was just like, oh my God, I hope the baby's okay. Witnesses who live and work nearby say the intersection of Boulevard Southeast and Glenwood Avenue was blocked off as GBI officials worked to gather evidence on scene. Some closed early. Driver Caitlin Crook says she's still shaken up by the incident. It's been three hours. I'm still shaken. Now we've reached out to GBI officials to get an update on the man's condition and find out what charges he may be facing tonight. We're still waiting to hear back. We've also reached out to get an update on the child's condition tonight. We're live in Atlanta tonight. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. I hope that child's okay. Joy, thanks for lunch.